Hey guys, so for today's tutorial, I'm going to be switching up my usual special effects makeup spook book series for a little bit of a DIY. So for these guys, they're just little DIY treat bags you can hand out on Halloween to the kids. One of them is more of a dead hand vibe and the other one is a pumpkin inspired treat bag. So if you guys want to know how I made these little treat bags, then just keep watching. So I started out with some orange tissue paper. I got all of this stuff from the dollar store as well so this is a super easy and cheap DIY and then I came in with some green washi tape you can use masking tape or any kind of tape that you have on hand just make sure it's green that's going to give the actual stem effect and then you're also going to need a plate and a pen and then some scissors and so to start out with this I just unraveled or unfolded my tissue paper and then I traced a circle with the plate And um, then you just cut out the plate shape or the circle shape. I made quite a few of these. I figured that you need kind of two to three per one, just so it's a little bit more stable as if it matters because kids are just going to be ripping them open anyways, but just for the stability, right? And then moving that off the side, I just wanted to show you guys what candies I got. So these were all purchased at the dollar store, so they're super inexpensive. And then I just came in with some little trinkets as well, like little creepy crawly rings, some vampire fangs, and some eye inspired bubble kind of things, which is what this is right here. And basically with this, you're just going to play it by ear, kind of feel around, because some things may not fit in. It depends how much you're going to try to fit in. I generally just move things around a bunch to see how much I could fit in and you can actually get a decent amount in here. And then I just took my washi tape, again you can use any kind of tape that you'd like, and I just put that around. And as you can see, it does kind of resemble a pumpkin, it's pretty cool actually. It's a really simple little one. And then for the next little treat bag, I just came in with some vinyl gloves and I ended up actually flipping these inside out because they had the powder on the inside which nobody wants to deal with so I just took that out by rubbing it against my pants and then I came in with some red yarn this is just gonna close and give that little like bloody effect kind of thing and so I just started basically filling up this glove I decided to use the lollipops in the fingers to make them a little bit more structured and then I came in with that string yarn the rest to just tie it off and that is literally it I hope you guys like this tutorial it's like a ghost in a pumpkin patch lots and lots of pumpkins